Welcome everyone. This video is going to show you how I built my magic mirror frame. For more details on this build, please check out the links in the description. I ended up with this quasi frameless design. The frame is made from walnut plywood and walnut hardwood, which I had laying around. I began by ripping thin strips of walnut, which make up the hardwood edging you see on the front. When you're all finished cutting the strips, you can plane them down to their final dimensions. Next, you can go ahead and cut the sides. Make sure you have enough depth to support your TV. Mine was made 3 and 3 quarter inch. Cut the sides to the proper height. The frame is made up entirely of dado joints. And this is how I cut those dado joints. The next step is to apply the hardwood edging. It's best to do this before running the dado that will actually hold the mirror. I use painter's tape to hold everything in place. And then I like to clamp them back to back while they dry. Once it's all cured, I use this laminate trimmer on this jig to trim off any proud edges. Use a crosscut sled to cut off any excess edging. And now you're ready to run that final dado that will hold the mirror. Give everything a once over with 220 grit sandpaper and you may want to run a little 45 degree bevel just to smooth everything out. Then cut a French cleat with a 45 degree angle on a table saw. This will hang the mirror. Here I'm cutting a not so pretty hole. It's for the speakers in the TV. But later it will get covered by a speaker grill. Now it's time for the final glue up. Apply glue everywhere, clamp it, and you may want to check that everything's nice and square at this point before it cures. I bent this metal profile on a pan brake I have access to. This is designed to hold the weight of the mirror Now the frame is ready for two quick coats of polyurethane. Paint any exposed edges black so that they cannot be seen through the mirror later. And we're finally ready to slide in our glass. Next I drop the TV in place. I designed these adjustable brackets to hold the TV snug to the glass. To hang the mirror, you're just going to mount the other side of the French cleat that you made earlier. Using a French cleat is kind of nice, because you can always lift the mirror off and service the Raspberry Pi or whatever if you have to later on. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.